<laughs> Hello and welcome to Black Noise, a indie horror game by the same developer who made I Am Alone and I Am Alone 2. Apparently they made a new game and it's around 50 minutes long, so let's get into it and see what it's like. Looks like we are, I guess, in a cold area. Oh, oh shit, no, well, we're not going out there. Apparently we're like in a, let's say in Antarctica or a, somewhere just super cold. We could go out. Well, no, it's... No, it's quite barricaded up with snow. Alright. Maybe it's Canada and the worst kind of Canadian snowstorms. Doors here? Door? Is that a door? That had to be probably... There. Ah! So it functions very much like I'm Alone, where you can enter a room and uh, there's light switches. I'm not sure if there's multiple endings. This feels like it's like a basement of the I Am Alone house. It's kind of strange. But we can very much anticipate that the game is going to be like I Am Alone then, uh, in which it has the spoopy factors. Where something can just appear or you don't expect it. You can get good scares on you. I Am Alone too did get me jumping a few times. We have no idea also what's in here or what the story is about because I didn't read the game store page. So I don't know, let's just try to get engrossed and immersed. Hmm. It's like we're in a, I don't know, maybe a nuclear? No. What? I don't like that. Don't like that at all. Hmm. Especially if this game is meant to be 15 minutes, I'm not sure if there's multiple endings. I, I, I'd have to double check as soon as I do beat the game. I don't think it'll be as... Uh, I, don't, I don't know, it's like I'm, I'm sort of half expecting it to be like... Uh, I'm alone. Where there's a lot of endings, a lot of different deaths. But I also at the same time don't think there will be like that. Kaboom. See, like, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see, will turning the light on and off get me killed? I want to know that. It's like a hallmark for this guy. Oh. No penalty? None? Aww. Shepard's like, every game gets you killed when you flip on and off the lights. Just some, some kind of, like, Easter egg. Oh. Oh, fridge. Wait. Oh, flashlights, yeah, but I mean, let, uh, night fucking night switch. Light switch is on this wall. I, I was wondering what the fuck that, like, Cafeteria? What am I looking for? If the game is 15 minutes long, I have to wonder how much of that is spent exploring, for one thing. Oh, an open door! That's always a good, f a good sign. Sure, let's go in it. Oh, it's one of those situations. Mm. We're not alone, obviously, but something is going where we were. Are we just like going on a wild goose chase, basically? Something's going to eventually kill us, and it's going to be spoopy. Oh, hey, I saw that. Let's just go in here, even though it could probably get us killed. Showers. That nice, nice cold shower. Oh, let's... Oh, yeah, 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 okay, sure. Let's open door number two. Okay, let's take a flush. Door number three! Oh, wow. And suddenly we get rushed from the door. Oh. Hi? This is supposed to be like, um, the thing. Hi. Oh. Is that it? Black noise? I'm gonna have to see in the game store page if there are multiple endings or not. Because if the game is restarting right now, I'm going to get a feeling there's actually multiple endings. That was just simply one 
of the endings. I'm going to check the game store page, though, just to make sure. So let, just one second. All right, so let's see. It says... Oh, no. It just doesn't. No one's played it. No one's left a comment. It's just a image, which I may as well also use their one picture on the game store page to advertise as a thumbnail, because it does look like it would be good thumbnail material. Hopefully they don't mind. But, uh, okay. It doesn't say anything about deaths, but knowing the developer, if we're going to look back at the normal pages that we're used to is in I'm Alone and I'm Alone 2, he did never advertise or he or she, I actually am not 100% sure, by a developer called Portrait Prophecies, um, I don't know if it's a guy or girl, but I do know that they never really advertised how many deaths there are in the game, it's just something I asked, so I know. So we're gonna have to see how many deaths there are! Apparently there's no light switch death, though, which is kind of disappointing, but, oh well. All we know is if the door closes in the bathroom, we don't go in the bathroom, because I highly, highly doubt that the game is just going to be us wandering in a bunker and uh, dying to a thing in the bathroom and then it ending. I highly doubt that. There has to be more. But the question is where? And then how to access it, because like I am alone, I am alone too, and I apologize for anyone new, like new new viewers who are just like curious about this game is uh, typically this game will be filled with secret deaths or secret story, which the only way you can really get to is, well, I mean, by uh, exploring and doing specific patterns. One of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to just stand out here, see if I can die from this. If not, then I will move on. No, oh, apparently not. I just walked back in. Wait. Didn't I turn on that light? I swear I was in here before. Maybe not. Hmm. Swear I did go in this room. By going outside, did it turn off all the lights? Let's double check that. Because I swear I went in that room and left the light on. So we go outside. We go inside. It's a big, a big leg spike. It seems to unload the entire level and have to un and probably reload it. Yeah, the lights turned off again. That's weird. Going outside and inside sort of refrets, ref, resets the lights. I, I don't know why, but okay. Let's just find a new death, and if there are multiple deaths in an actual story I can find, I'll probably then have to ask the developer again. Hey, hey, what's in this room? How many deaths are there? Is there story deaths? Probably. Why isn't there a light switch death? This was the room where I heard the noise. What's this over here? The radio? Oh, so it was the radio that made that noise. Nonetheless, though, we know where not to go unless, based on my prior experiences of playing I'm Alone, is the bathroom death might be the only way to end the game. Hopefully not. So here's one thing I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the bathroom. Oh, wait. That's... Wait, I'm... Uh, huh. I became the thing? Perhaps it's not that there... Maybe... Maybe it's linear. Maybe it's linear. Or everything that's happening is progressive? Like, if I die, it's a different death every time? Or I just simply did something different? So I was expecting... What I was going to do was go in the bathroom and then leave the bathroom and try looking around for new things. Well, instead I entered it and then it was me who was the creature that time around. It's kind of weird, but... Mm. Weird, interesting, but uh, it's just weird. It seems things turn for the worst as soon as I hear the radio, basically. <laughs> okay. That was mildly unexpected. Very similar, oh, very familiar noise. Okay. 
Okay, they are indeed. I think it might be a linear story that progresses. Hello? Things are just changing rapidly and getting. Oh, the radio's in here! Maybe I won't have to investigate so much and find all the fucking endings. It'll just throw them at me. And I'll get to experience them. The door opened. I don't know if I'd want to go in the bathroom specifically, so I'm going to avoid the bathroom. Um, just in case it, I, I, I don't know, like, I'm, I'm only left theorizing what's going on. I'd rather not repeat the same deaths, though. If it is linear and it's just an experience, then I won't have to worry about it. But the radio being in that room is a bit odd. We can come to expect... Oh, yep, he didn't pop out of the closet this time. And the radio's not in this room. Things are changing, so my, my current theory is... Uh, the story is linear, and it's maybe going to just simply be thrown at me, rather than me finding out via trial and error and uh, a fuck ton of theorizing. Something tells me the kitchen's going to be the next one. Fridge? Fridge? No, not yet. I, I swear the kitchen's going to be one of them soon. Oh, hello. Okay, now they invaded the cafeteria. A lot of hungry, hung, hungry fucking black things. I mean, the game is called Black Noise, so it just depends. What is the black noise? What is the black thing? What's outside? Still snow. Radio. Why the radio? Oh. Hello. Footstep. Or blood? Oh. It declothed. Declothed? It unclothed? Socks? You just get naked for me? I don't know if I can have sex with it, but... Hey. Is that, a, is that a fucking broad, tidy whiteies? Yeah, I'm interested. <laughs> apparently, 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 we are probably a female, or the monsters posing as a female. I'm going to go with female main character. Oh, fleshy thing. Oh, it stripped itself of, even of its skin. Okay, I'm not. I'm not so interested in that anymore. No, no. Because if I do recall, it was the whole uh, I'm Alone, I'm Alone 2 is also a female protagonist. Actually, let me look at the game store tags, because that's usually where you can sort of hint, or where I think they did hint before. Mm, no, abstract, dark, horror, horror game, mystery, pixel art, story rich, surreal, suspense, and weird. Okay. So I swear it was in the previous one, it was uh, also tagged female protagonist. I just don't even know if there's going to be a, a conclusive story as to what's going on. The only thing I can theorize amongst thinking that it's linear, and I'm hoping people won't complain and saying I'm talking too much, I'm just, I'm curious about everything, so I had to sort of think out loud. If I kept it to myself, that'd be kind of boring, though, is, oh, the radio's in here. Well, let's progress the story. The radio in some form is the key. If it's going to be black noise and it creates black creature thing, I'm going to assume the radio is what's the cause of this incident, let's say. It's probably comparable if you think black noise, black the creature, noise is the cause. And maybe you can maybe compare it to white noise, but instead it's black noise, aka it's evil because it's black. Don't twist that. But... Wait. I see you behind me. 
small black pixels behind me. It was like someone trying to mimic my positioning and mimicking my shadow. I, I definitely saw that. But other than saying the radio is the cause of it, I have no idea what else I can really say. All I know is we gotta find the radios, basically, and progress the story. Cafeteria? Oh. Yeah, the, probably the key will be in this room. It'll unlock probably at the end. It'll probably... I don't know, just probably may maybe, maybe answer some questions. Maybe. Okay, what's in the fucking kitchen then? Radio? No? Hmm. Oh, radio's in here again. It's not working. Oh. I wonder how many of you guys expected that. <laughs> Uh, I got my hair standing a little bit, but I was sort of expecting something. The radio not working. Something's fucking up with this. All right, well, let's find out where the fucking radio was this time. I'm guessing that basically, though, the story. Oh, the door! It opened. Hell yeah! All the me's. All the me's. How many times have we died? You always... You always were a dreamer. Oh. Yep. Wait. Oh shit, it connects! I didn't see the wording when I moved the radio. I think it was the female's name uh, of the girl in I'm Alone 1 and 2. Shit. It's connected. Spirit... Well, not a spiritual successor, but it's, it's connected to that universe. Huh. Interesting. Anything else? Interesting, though. To think it was just a sim simply an independent game, and then suddenly it's actually connected with... I'm gonna have to presume, like, story-wise, if I can remember it off by heart. Is I'm alone, girl survives... I, I, can't, I can't even piece together the story. I'm not really good at doing that, since I never really tried to lay out the story and structure of the first two games when whoops I hit the microphone <laughs> is essentially you're the girl and I'm alone she had suffered an attack she was hospitalized just I can't I don't I don't know basically I'm just confused about the whole what is real what is not real who the killer was are they alive are they basically if I remember in the second one it was like they can the evil villain, or the, the antagonist to I'm Alone, or I'm Alone 2, was a form of evil entity that takes over the bodies, and there's like two people, or three people even. And they're taking over bodies to make sure they, they don't get caught, but they can continue murdering and torturing the main character of I'm Alone. But when they were in the hospital whether it being in between the first game or second game, or if it was supposed to be before the game, or during the first game, it was just simply nightmares, and the person then waking up and then going home, and then real shit happening. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not good at that. I, it was very confusing, but still interesting and fun game nonetheless. Uh, it's hard to really think of anything else. It's just, it, that's, that's the end, and everything's black. But... I'm gonna have to rewatch the footage to see what name they brought up that was behind the radio before the cutscene showed to the hospital scene for the character in I'm Alone. So hopefully you enjoyed this game and you enjoyed, you look forward to more or a sequel or anything involving this game. Um, I think more people should fucking play this game and the series and from Portrait Prophecies. But weirdly enough, I, it's been like a two days and no one's no one's left a comment. It's kind of fucking weird, but either way, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a subscriber, hit that bell notification down below for updates and videos. Thank you for watching, and until the next time.